Hi, my name is Greg Ogden, and I have the opportunity to share with you one of the most impactful experiences I've ever seen for life transformation and growth to take place. I discovered this aha experience a number of years ago when I saw groups of three to five gather together around the truth of God's Word and see accelerated growth take place in people's lives. A number of summers ago, my wife and I had the opportunity to travel to Alaska for the summer. And when you're there, you hear these amazing stories of rapid growth that take place. You see daffodils the size of dinner plates and zucchini squash the length of baseball bats, pumpkins that are over a thousand pounds. Now, why this rapid growth? Well, from mid-May to the end of August, the sun never sets, so the conditions are just right for accelerated growth. Well, the same thing happens in these small groups of three to five. The conditions are just right for accelerated growth. We're excited to share with you the story of how that happens. Before you hear from those who have participated in Essentials Groups, let me briefly sketch how it all works. First, groups are usually started by one person, prayerfully inviting two to four others to join together in this journey that lasts approximately a year. Second, the group is united around a shared covenant that encompasses commitments to meet regularly, usually weekly, complete the assigned work in the Discipleship Essentials Workbook, be prepared to open our lives to each other, and finally, make a considered determination to lead your own group upon completion of the present one. Third, the Discipleship Essentials curriculum serves as the tool that provides the structure for the relationship. It takes you through 25 core or essential topics that are foundational for discipleship. These small groups of three to five that are the transformative context for growth are really centered around a tool called Discipleship Essentials. In fact, in our church, we just call them essentials groups. And they're based upon three conditions for growth. The first condition for accelerated growth is what I call relational transparency. By that, I mean that when we open our lives up to each other on a horizontal level, we are saying to God on a vertical level that we want you to make us all that you intend us to be. I think Discipleship Essentials is sort of like group therapy for the soul. When a group like this gets together and they're vulnerable like this, and uh, we share uh, with honesty and openness, there's a, a closeness that sort of, um, that comes together. And we felt much more healthy um, as, as a person and as a follower of Jesus uh, after this experience. I believe when we share and become vulnerable, and be transparent with one another. That's when the Holy Spirit remakes us. It's in those times where we are able to share our struggles, to share our doubts, to share our happiness with one another. When we open ourselves up to others, the Holy Spirit's able to dig into us and build us up and make us up for what God wants us to be. I think the whole trust and transparency thing evolves from a group of men like we were being willing to share our, our most uh, personal internal stories and struggles in our lives. So I guess what I would take away from that is knowing that others sitting around the table or in the circle were willing to do that allowed me to, to in the same way share mine uh, so that we could work together on each other's issues. If you look at our group you'll see a um, pretty different age dynamic and each of us brought our own life experience to figure out where exactly we are in our own life and how to understand God's will a little bit stronger. All of us have the same struggles. You think that it's just you. I, I have to be the only person who's feeling this way or going through these struggles by myself. But when you're with a small group and you're able to be vulnerable and truthful and honest, you want to open up, you want to be part of that, you want to give of yourself as others are giving to you. I think a lot of times we think that we're either in this journey alone or that the journey we're covering, the ground we're covering, we're the first person to cover it. And we're not. God didn't intend us to be and we're not. And to hear other people's stories and perspectives uh, opens you up to a whole new view of uh, living life through the Father. and. Uh, as he wants us to live it. 
the second condition for accelerated growth is what we call truth in community. We simply open our lives to each other around the truth of God's word and allow it to sink in. Now, so often we study the Bible as sort of a compartmentalized truth, and we don't allow it to really to touch our lives. And it can be simply information rather than transformation. And what we're about in truth and community is transformation in the context of relationship. And we all are leading towards life application in the study of God's Word. Exploring the Bible in a small group in the discipleship essentials structure allows you to ask questions that I guess you normally wouldn't ask in, uh, in corporate worship. Uh, it allows you to actually, let's just say, ask a stupid question and allows others to really see how God's Word intersects with their life. And a lot of times that same experience that the others shared is the same thing that you're going through. And it really just helps validate your interpretation of what God's really, really striving for you to know. And not just that, striving for you to change in your life. Um, it's a challenge. I think when you study the Word of God, nobody has all the answers. You know, we can go through our entire life and still read a verse that we've been reading for 30 years and get different perspectives. And it means something different to us depending on where we are in our life. So when you study the Word of God with others, you get so many different perspectives coming in from different lives that there's so many aha moments, like, I've never thought about it that way. Wow, you know, this really puts a different twist on that particular Bible verse. When you are open and honest about God's Word and you're tearing it apart together, you're invariably going to see where life intersects with that Word. You're going to find a way that that Bible verse or passage takes root in your heart and lives in your life. As we got together as a group, uh, you know, sometimes we would focus on just one verse. I think coming into this, I couldn't expect that any group of five guys could talk about one verse for more than five or six minutes. But seeing four or five different perspectives uh, and, and then actually applying that to our, our personal lives, our personal situations, it actually made the Word of God come alive for all of us. The third condition for accelerated growth is life change accountability. Our ultimate goal is to continuously grow into Christ's likeness, but we need the help of others to get there. And the help comes in the form of mutual accountability, where we've each identified areas where we want to grow in our life and ask for the loving assistance of others to get us there. Deep down, we all know we can't do life uh, by ourselves. You need a few others that will just support you, champion you, help you, encourage you, whatever words you want to put on it. And when you find that, uh, you'll guard it at all costs and you'll invest into that. I think we all go through life thinking, you know, that we're self-sustaining, that we can do it all, and we can't. And I have found that out more in the last year that you can't do it alone. And that was, that was a huge struggle for me. So I deal with these things on a daily basis. So I wanted to get involved with a group where we could be accountable to each other, kind of lift ourselves up together, have that support. As we learn to know each other more and more, there was no holding back of asking questions or holding each other accountable for what we have discussed or what the issues we had allowed others to know that we were dealing with. And I think the accountability within the group just just happened and happened rapidly. In terms of my accountability with God, uh, I think the accountability of the, of the guys within the group fostered my accountability to God through how I live my life, how I choose to, to spend my time in study and so forth. The, the concept of Discipleship Essentials is, is really sort of like a, a huge pyramid scheme. And um, <laughs> we, we are actually, all of us, uh, leading our second groups right now. And I have to say that I think all of us to a man uh, would agree that we're replicating the same experience again. Uh, so it is repeatable. It wasn't just our group. This is something that when, when five guys get together or five gals get together and they open up the word in this format, it just happens. This experience for me has been an epiphany 
I didn't realize it, but before we started this experience, I was the proverbial leaf in a stream. Wherever the, the current took me, that's where I was going. And uh, this experience with these men, and now that I'm replicating with, with my next group, um, has anchored me in my faith journey. I feel so much closer to God and so much more aware of what God wants from me. And um, I think it's, it's not lost on me now that the cover of uh, Pastor Ogden's book is an anchor. I feel like this process has actually anchored my soul um, for keeps. Believe me when I say that one of the greatest adventures of life change awaits you if you were to enter into an essentials group. Let me invite you into the Holy Spirit's hothouse of growth.